Hi, my name is George Pearson and this special Photoshop Elements video is part of a series that I have on doing photography techniques for wedding photography. You can see a few examples in here from the different videos. Now all of these are using images that are available free on the internet and I have a link in the description for you to download the videos if you want to work with the same images that I'm using in my video demonstrations. Please subscribe, click the like button, and of course always share on Facebook, Twitter, or wherever. I really appreciate that. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with the video. In this Photoshop Elements video, I'm going to show you how to use frames. Now these are interesting graphics, and there's a bit of automation to these things. So they're kind of unusual. Let's go ahead and see how this is done. First off, you need to have a file to put these into. Now I just made a brand new file here. Nothing dramatic, just a brand new file. And then I put a background on this one. This is one called White Embossed Flowers, down towards the very bottom of the list. Just an interesting little background. Okay, so it's a brand new file, and it's at the default Photoshop Elements size, which is 4x6 at 300 dpi, and then with a background. Okay, let's go over here to Frames. Now you don't have to use a background on these. You can you know, put it on an existing picture if you want to. You can put frames on top of a photograph if you want to. But to put frame or pictures inside of the frames, that has to be done as a secondary step. All right, there are lots and lots and lots of frames, as you can see here, just a, a gazillion different frames. These all work the same, though. The technique of using frames stays the same. The look is different. Like in this one, the picture goes inside of the bird shape. But aside from the look, the frames all work exactly the same. So I'm just going to go up here towards the top. And I found one that I liked. And it's almost there. There we go. That one right there. Up near the top. And that one's called Aged Frame. To put a frame onto your picture, two ways to do it. One is just to drag it over like that. Or let me just undo that. Other way is to double click. And it comes in. Notice that they come in in different sizes. If you double click it's larger, if you just drag it's smaller. It doesn't matter. Simply grab the side or the corner, hold the Alt key down, that will allow you to pull from the center. It makes it a little bit easier to position. And then put it where you want it on your file. Put that one right there. So far all I did was I just positioned my frame. I sized the frame and positioned it. Choose the green check mark there to set it in place. Now notice in here it says click here to add photo or drag a photo here. Clicking is easy. Just click on this and it will then open up your hard drive to whatever the last folder was that you are using and you can then grab a picture from there or if you had pictures down here already open you can then you know a little photo bin you had pictures down here you can just drag them down here and just drop them on that way. We'll just click. I know he's hiding in here somewhere. There we go. And that's what I want choose OK. So there's a picture and notice how because I had the frame selected the picture drops inside of the frame. Once it's here you can move the picture around. See there's the top edge of the picture, there's the left side. So you can move the picture around inside of the frame. You can make the picture larger or smaller by using this slider control right here. So there's a larger picture and there's a smaller picture. So you can adjust the size of the picture. Notice that if you go too far you will be seeing blank area around your pictures. Keep that in mind. Be aware of those edges. So you don't have any little blank spots showing. So you want to be a little bit larger than your frame for proper display. I'm just move it over a little bit. Okay, once you have that done, just click the green check mark and your picture is now inside of the frame. At this point, I can actually move my frame around and the picture goes with it. See, they're, they're connected together as one unit. I can resize the frame. I'll hold the Alt key down so I do it from the center. So I can resize and the whole thing changes together. You see right there, real easy. I can even stretch or squeeze. Notice how the picture shows more or less, but if I'm stretching or squeezing it this way, I'm not actually changing the size of the picture. I'm only changing the size of the frame, and the frame determines how much of the picture is being shown. If I go too far, you see now how the, the picture actually enlarges to stay inside of the frame. So it's very, very flexible on this. You can really come in here and 
it kind of adjusts for you automatically as you're changing the size of your frame. That's why I say it. there's a lot of automation built into this. Very cool little feature. When you're happy, just click on that check mark. Now, if you want to change this picture, just double click on the picture and it brings back up this dialog, this little set of tools up here. There's two buttons. This one rotates your picture like that. So you can, you know, make a horizontal vertical or a vertical horizontal. And then this one reopens up the file window so you can then choose a different picture if you want to choose a different picture to drop in there. Okay, let's just do this one more time so you can see how that's done. Now if you want to change a frame, you can change this here. Just click on the picture, make sure that you're seeing those control handles. Then simply double click on another frame and it will change the frame. Just like that. It's that easy. Let's go back to the one that I chose here. Double click and there it is. If you want to add another frame in here, click outside someplace so that you're no longer seeing those control handles. Once those are gone, you can then drag or double click to add this other frame in. I'll just drag it this time and then I'll hold the or just pull in the corner and resize that. There's the new frame. That's my size. Click in the middle. Notice if I go over here that little hand shows up. If you're down here it won't do anything at all. If I click in here nothing will happen. If you move up you'll see the hand shows up once it's, once it's over the text. So make sure you're seeing that hand. Find your other picture. And I want this one this time. There we go. Let's just reposition that a little bit in the picture in our frame. That looks pretty good. And then if I'm happy just click outside and then I can resize the whole thing. Change the ratio a little bit here and choose OK. Notice also that these frames are floating on their own layers so I can actually overlap the frames like that so you can add some more interest to your layout by having your frames overlapped. Now again these are on layers. Let's take a look at the layers and see how this is laid out. Go down here I'll bring up the layers. There we go. Notice that this is all on one frame and the whole thing is contained inside of this automated frame. It's a special kind of a layer, a frame layer. Notice they, ha they have the same name on there. I wouldn't touch the names on these things. Just leave the names as is. But these are specialty layers that control the whole frame aspect, all the tools in there. So if I double click on this, it brings back my tools again. So make sure that you leave that stuff alone over there. But again, it's a nice kind of automated technique to add pictures inside of frames. Okay, let's go back just to real fast review, back to our graphics again. If you want to add a frame onto a picture, just drag it on or double click, and it'll bring it in. If you want to change the frame of an existing picture, click on the picture and then double click on the frame you want to change it to. There we go. Double click up here, put it back again. Double click on the picture itself and it brings back up the control tools. When nothing is showing up there, you can then resize and it will adjust the picture to match what you're doing. Again, that's part of the automation. If you want to move or change the picture, again, double click on the picture, brings back up the tools, and that button right there allows you to change the picture inside of that particular frame. The slider control allows you to zoom in or out of your picture. Okay, so there we go. That's how to use frames inside of Photoshop Elements. Thank you for watching this special Photoshop photography project video. Don't forget to subscribe so that you will get first notice of new project videos in the future. Just click on this link right here where it says subscribe here. You can get all 12 project videos in this series along with 26 special videos demonstrating the tools and techniques that I used in these projects by clicking on this link right down here. And then thank you again for watching this training video.